In this screencast library video tip, I'm going to show you how to use the Windows 7 snipping tool. The snipping tool is a really cool tool that will actually take a picture of whatever is on your computer screen. And it's included in Windows 7 Home Premium and Up. Now to find that tool, you click on your Start menu, All Programs, and Accessories, and select the tool. And what I recommend is right-clicking it and pinning it to your taskbar. So when you want to use it, it's just one click away and you don't have to go into the menu. Once you've selected the snipping tool, this is what it looks like. And the cool thing about the tool is you can take a picture of whatever's on your screen. Doesn't matter if you're on the internet, if you're running a program, if you want to take a picture of your desktop, if it's on your screen, the snip tool can get it. And you have a few different options. When you're ready to take a snip, Click on the arrow next to New and choose your version of snip you want to do. You can do a full screen snip, which will take a picture of your entire screen. You can do a window snip, so if you select that, you can then move the mouse around your screen and it will highlight certain windows on your screen. And when you have the window selected that you want to snip, just left click and it takes that picture, just like that. And then once you've done that, there's a few things you can do with it. First of all, there's a pen tool included. So if you click on that, you could write something. You could circle things. You could mark it up, do whatever you want there. It's also got a highlighter. You can highlight things. And then, of course, has an eraser. And you can't erase what's on your screen, but you can erase things like the highlighter and the pen that you just used. So those are some options from this screen. Now, at this point, you need to either save your SNP, and you click on this little disk here to save, or you can click on File, Save As. And when you do that, you just have to give it a file name and choose which image format to save it as. I recommend JPEG. And then you'll save that SNP, and this picture will be on your hard drive, on your computer now, as a picture. The other thing you can do is click right here next to this email icon and you can send this picture as an email to somebody else. So if you want to send a picture of what's on your screen to somebody, you can just email it and you're done. Now if you don't like your SNP or you didn't get the exact picture you wanted, you could just X out of there and click no to not save it and just click on the snipping tool again and do it again. Now it's got a rectangle snip and that will allow you to just draw an even rectangle I'm just holding my left mouse key down and dragging it. And however much you want to do, it'll do an even rectangle, which is kind of cool. And like I said, you could do it anywhere on the internet. You can do software. It's really nice. Probably my favorite snip is the freeform snip. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the freeform snip is at the very top. And it allows you to snip any part of an image. So it's got a little scissor icon here, and you're just going to draw around the area you want to snip. So you're holding your left mouse key down and just drawing around an area just like that, and boom, that's what you got. It's really cool, very simple. And you can also have some fun with it. And you can draw, you know, it doesn't have to be it can be circles. It doesn't have to be perfect either. It can be, you know, really freeform to kind of give a cool look. And then again, just don't forget you need to save it if you want to keep it, or you can X out, or you can email it to someone. And like I said, you can use this on the internet, on your desktop. Here's Photoshop Elements I have running, so you could uh, do this uh, within a piece of software that you're running and show somebody something and it's really cool. Again, that's the Windows 7 snipping tool found under the accessories area in Windows 7. For more free videos and tips and tricks like this one, please make sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also visit us at www.screencastlibrary.com. Thanks for watching.